A survey of 400 customers at an ice cream shop. Mm. So I can see the cardinal number for the universe is going to be 400. Showed that 225 customers like chocolate ice cream. Why wouldn't they? So the cardinal number for chocolate is 225. 300 customers liked vanilla. So the cardinal number for vanilla is 300. And finally, 200 customers liked both. So the cardinal number for chocolate intersect vanilla is 200. And it says draw a Venn diagram to illustrate the survey. So in working this problem, I saw that the universe, the cardinal number for the universe was 400. The cardinal number for chocolate was 225, for vanilla is 300, and for chocolate intersect vanilla, or meaning they liked both, was 200. I started off by putting the 200 in the intersection piece of my chocolate and vanilla sets, and then for chocolate, I took the total, the cardinal number for chocolate, 225, subtracted off that 200 that also liked vanilla, and found 25 who only liked chocolate. I did the same thing for vanilla. I took the 300, which was the cardinal number for vanilla, and I subtracted off the 200, which was the people who also liked chocolate, and I got 100 people liking only vanilla and not chocolate. And then I wanted to find out how many belong in the universe, so I added up the people who liked vanilla, who liked both chocolate and vanilla, and who liked chocolate, and I got 325. And when I took the cardinal number for the universe, or 400, subtract off that 325, which is the total of all of the sets that we're showing here, chocolate or vanilla, and I got 75, which means there are 75 people who didn't like e either chocolate or vanilla. They liked neither one.